What's going on guys? Chris here from DIY E65 E66.com and tonight's video I'm showing you guys, do you see that little park thing that came up right there? Let's try it again. So right as we open up our door, we close it here. Let's try to turn on our electrics. Maybe my computer just reset it. Maybe not. Okay, there it is again. And so this just occurred at me, but now this park right here, parking brake malfunction. So let's go ahead and start the electronics without stepping on the gas, just the number two position keys in it. Let's start up the electronics here. Okay, this is what I'm getting here. Brake drive fault, replace brake linings. That's what I needed to do. But now I'm getting this whole brake and drive control system malfunction, parking brake without emergency braking function, avoid hard braking, blah, blah, blah. And I got this ABS thing down here, brake drive malfunction, drive moderately here. The check engine light will go off when I start the car. I'm not pulling any codes, so let me start the car now. Now I'm putting my foot on the brake, starting the car. This is what happens. This little thing, reduce bubble of speed, blah, 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 blah. I got a little kind of chiming going on here. And then these three symbols are all up here. Hey guys, something I just realized too is that um, like I reported earlier in the video, this happened, all those lights just took off all of a sudden right after the car wash. I was going over a speed bump about four to three miles an hour. Of course I was, you know, cause I have rims, I was going over it slow. Right as I was going over the speed bump, I heard kind of like a thud in the wheels, kind of like something tripped up. And um, I know other people report that as well. Side note guys, my brakes are working completely fine. There's no issues with my braking at all. Of course, I'm not slamming on my brakes, but I never do, but I'm driving the exact same way that I was when the issue first chimed in on the dash. And again, my braking is completely fine. I'm not hearing any pad on rotor scratching or anything like that. So just to let you know that as well. Hey guys, I just wanted to catch this on video real quick here. Now, as, as you can see, my ABS module lights, my trifecta of the three yellow lights are not on right now. Now, the car is sat overnight. Probably I haven't drove it in 24 hours. That way it has not lit up yet. My dashboard, the iDrive has not lit up yet, but I'd say in about five minutes or less, it will. Uh, I've been driving for about five minutes already. And what happens is uh, something heats up and uh, I believe it's inside the module and what happens is then the trifecta of lights pops on over here. Now for some oddball reason it cools off and it goes away and then the you know car just senses it overheating or something like that and what it is inside the module there's these little fine soldering pins and hairs and all sorts of weird little things in there. I'll get a couple of uh, still shots of it I'll include in this video as well, but uh, I will be sending it in. It's just too much of a fix. If I was a good micro solderer, um, I would definitely do it myself, but that's just a skill I haven't required quite yet. I would like to learn it though, uh, because I just had to fix an iPad mini and send it in to be micro soldered for, man, 60 bucks, so quite a bit of money. So in about, like I said, in about five minutes, sometimes 10 minutes, sometimes I can get all the way to the freeway several miles away from where I live, and then it chimes on. So uh, that's just something that the ABS module does. If you, there we go, right there, <laughs> on camera, right there. Okay, it chimed, and then that came up. Um, and then of course now, my trifecta of yellow lights right there, as you can see, those are all on. So that, guys, is a bad ABS module. I tried a new battery, new battery didn't work. It's the ABS module. A lot of guys have commented on my videos explaining the same exact thing and they sent theirs in uh, to be repaired or bought a new one. If you do buy a new one, you're going to have to register it to your car. Um, some people report not registering it and everything is fine. Um, but from what I've heard, if you buy a new one, you need to register it to your car. So I'm going to fix mine that originally is registered to my car and then they're gonna fix it and I'm gonna put it back in so there's not gonna be a need to register it. So again, I'm gonna be using my original one in my car and I will not need to register it after it is fixed. So stay tuned for that, guys.